Get his fat butt off the couch. <laughs> hey, you better get your fat butt off the couch. Oh, oh no. You better lose some damn weight. It wouldn't, much, it, if, it wouldn't hurt you to miss a meal. Oh, oh man. Oh. It hurts you to miss a meal. <laughs> you are kind of fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably why she don't kiss you anymore. Uh-huh. Probably why she don't respect you anymore. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is some real stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's hurtful. It's hurtful, man, yeah. Welcome to Inside the School of Identity and Lifestyle. We are joining a class in progress as Master Trainer Pete Cabrera Jr. teaches students the practical application of Scripture. You are about to see and hear one of many tools Pete uses for equipping the saints to walk in a victorious and abundant life. Jesus secured this for us at the cross, however many believers do not know how to appropriate it. We've all read about the carnal mind, but with a kingdom prop called Pepper, Pete is able to give us insight into how the enmity with God is manifested through the carnal mind by highlighting it, exposing it, and animating it in a way you may have never seen or understood. Join us in the classroom now as Pete Cabrera Jr. introduces us to Pepper. It's Pepper, it's the carnal mind, convincing you of some stuff, right? Wow, man. And what's really crazy, is when uh, when you run into somebody else's pepper, <laughs> right? And so I'll, I'll give you a scenario. This is a really good scenario. If you're married, you'll love this. Who's all married in here? Okay, you'll love this. <laughs> so let's say that I'm this guy, right? And my name is Arnold. Joey or something. <laughs> and I'm, I'm really tired. And I'm, I'm a Christian. And I love the Lord, but nobody ever taught me. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. There's obviously something just the knowledge of God. You know, taking every thought catch yeah. into the obedience, right? So nobody taught me that. And so I'm like, okay, I just give my life to Jesus. They lay hands on me. I pray in tongues. I'm filled with the Spirit. So I'm, I'm, I'm a new creation. So nobody tells you that you still have the same thoughts as you had before. All of a sudden, they think just because you gave your life to Jesus, you have a new mindset, but you don't. You have the same old mindset. Mm-hmm. So now, you're coming home, your first day of work, you just gave your life to Jesus. You're singing songs, you're praising God, and man, life's just amazing. It's unicorns and, and <laughs> rainbows and hallelujah pizza parties. Everything's just amazing, man. Hallelujah. And you're just, oh, Jesus, <laughs> we love you so much. Right? And so he's going home because he just had a 12-hour shift. But man, it was awesome. It was awesome. Right, so all he can think about is, man, I can't wait to get home. I'm going to go home, I'm going to sit on the couch, and I'm just going to have something to eat. But I'm really tired. So then back at the house, his wife, she's a Christian too, and she gave her life to Jesus. But nobody told her that she had a calm mind. Right? So she's at home cleaning and cooking, and she's tired. Her back hurts, her feet hurts, kids running around screaming and yelling, and she just can't wait for her husband to get home because as soon as her husband gets home, she can go lay in the tub rest and take a break because she's been cooking and cleaning. So man, as soon as he shows up, the husband says, uh, he walks in and he's like, oh man, I'm so tired. Right? Pepper's like, yeah, we're so tired. We're so tired. Oh man. And, and the guy says to the wife, hey, um, man, I'm, I'm really hungry, but my feet hurt and my back hurts. So hey, I'm going to sit over here by the TV. Could you bring me the food? Can you bring me something to eat? Could you bring it over here so I can watch some TV? Right? And so the wife's over here. And the first thing she hears is, what the hell is yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, no. What do you think he is? <laughs> Didn't you see the house? Didn't you see all the work you did? He didn't even say hi. He didn't even kiss you. He didn't act like he knows you. That's wrong with him. And I ain't gonna treat you like this all going on. Right? They were like, well, that's just the way I am. That's not the way you are. That's the old man. That's the flesh, right? Selfish and wants its way. Right? 
And so she doesn't understand to take those thoughts captive. So what does she do? She listens. And now Pepper's like, oh yeah, it's on, right? So now she turns around and she thinks it's her, but it's not her. It's Pepper. Mm. And Pepper says, you crazy? You need to get off your butt and get it yourself. Like I've been working all day long. Like what the heck's wrong with you? Like you better come over here and get it. Like I've been cleaning you and man, he's sitting here. He totally forgot about his day and everything, man. Pepper's sitting there. You want me to talk to you like that? What the heck's wrong with you? Your kids are watching. She's disrespecting you. She better know her place. Doesn't she know that you're the head of the household? Man, uh, yeah. you better tell her she better get her stuff right. You ain't playing. <laughs> you better tell her to get her butt to move. And right now, she better bring you something to eat now. You better put your foot down. We want to straight turn into calm here a little bit. <laughs> so what's he do? He doesn't take thoughts, Captain. And so what's he do? He gets tempted. And what's he doing now? He becomes a slanderer. Right? False accuser. Because now he's thinking about all the things. Right? He just he just got seduced. He got seduced. He got seduced. And he was he was taken away from the faith. Right? Mm-hmm. He was taken away from the faith because he forgot that by faith he should stand on the word of God. And he shouldn't say these things. And he should humble himself and, and love his wife, right? But he forgot because he was seduced. By her pepper, by her flesh, and her flesh had her in another, had him in another reality, and now he's seduced, and now he's angry. Uh. But he's not angry. Pepper's angry because the new man doesn't live in anger, lives in peace and joy. And now all of a sudden, Pepper's really loud, banging, just banging. Like, hey, what that's wrong with you? <laughs> Wake up! Hey, you think I'm playing? That's what your pepper's doing to you. What the heck you doing? <laughs> really? You thought that? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, no. Remember? You remember? Come on, man. Your buddies at work? Come on. See how their wives listen to them? She'll listen to you. Look at her. She didn't go to the gym. She gained all that weight. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Look at this one. all snacks. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell Katie. So what's he do? He's like, look, girl, if you don't give me something to eat and bring it over here, you, like, don't make me ask you again. You better do it or else. Right? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can ever look at you the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh talk my to you like that. Oh my God. Damn, wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Your mama was right. She never married him. Oh <laughs> no. Oh no. <laughs> hey, remember we were watching The Bachelor last night? <laughs> See how they all love my <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at you got. Yeah, that's look reality. Look at you got. Look at you got. Look at you got. I you to bring him food. He can't even walk over here. Wait. Oh, that. Look at you get fat. 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 But off the couch. Oh, no. Man, lose some damn weight. It, it, it would hurt you to miss a meal. Oh, oh man. Oh. It hurt you to miss a meal. It hurt you to miss a You are kind of fat. <laughs> She don't kiss you anymore. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paula, right. she don't respect you anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Dude, this is some real stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's hurtful. It's hurtful, man. Yeah. 
Put your foot down. Just put your foot down. Maybe you gotta remind him who the man in front of him. Uh oh. <laughs> the man card. You gotta let her have it. You gotta let her know. Man. The whole time, Holy Ghost sitting over here like, what the heck is going on? Mm. Just chill. And Pepper's like, <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Look, I work all day long providing for you, taking care of you. You don't respect me anymore. You call me names, you call me fat. You know what? I don't even love you anymore. Oh, oh, wow. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even touch me anymore. Oh, <laughs> man. You don't even hold my hand anymore. Mm. Remember that guy you were looking at last month? Man. <laughs> I'm not mad. Pepper will pull up all kinds of trash on me. So you know what? I don't even want to eat your food. You can't even cook anyways. Oh. You can't cook. You can't clean. You're worthless. I hate you. I can't stand you. Get out of my face. I don't like you anyways. The women at work are nicer to me than you. Oh. I ain't even playing. <laughs> Now her pepper is hurt. Yeah. And mad. Furious. Yeah. But she done got lost. And she's all up in the flesh. And what ends up happening? I don't want a divorce. I don't want nothing to do with you. I hate you. I can't stand you. Mm. And so now, they ain't even in the picture anymore. God's creation is gone. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, Adam, where are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Did you eat the tree of the knowledge that I commanded you not to eat from? Who told you that they were fat? Who told you that you were lazy? Who told you that they didn't love you? Who told you that you weren't? Who told you that? Right here, man. And what's crazy is that when you animate Pepper, you're the dumbest. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. <clears throat> He'll tell you you ain't gonna make it. God ain't for you. And what's really crazy is when your pepper, your pepper is haunting your house mentally, physically, and emotionally. Okay, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> because this pepper right here, this pepper right here, has fear. And Pepper will tell you that you're afraid and you'll believe him. Mm -hmm. And you'll come up to me talking about I have the spirit of fear. Uh -huh. that's good. But Pepper is the one that's afraid. Pepper's the one that has fear. Mm -hmm. Because perfect love casts out all fear. <clears throat> so now you'll come to me talking about I have a spirit of fear. And I can't cast Pepper off of you. You can only cast him down. Amen. Wow. You can only tell him what to do. You can only renew him and make him listen and subdue him. That's it. And he's still going to say it, but you have to deny him. Yeah. Resist the devil and he'll flee. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee. But what will happen is if you don't know this reality, this will be pepper right here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ghost Pepper. Ghost Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> With their little eyes peeking through. <laughs> Ghost Pepper be like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you like, oh. Do you hear that? <laughs> you hear it. You hear it. Ooh. Where's it coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Where? Start taking random It's pictures. in that room over there. Over where? It's over there. It's a Man. You be over there like, hey, brother, you're going to fall like this. <laughs> hey, I need you to come over to the house. There's a 
buried in the house. I didn't know. Here. Wait, wait. I think there's another spirit in there. Yeah. I think that's a, a gluttony spirit. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Because when I get nervous, I gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, hurry up. Bring the anointing oil. We gotta make sure the spirit leaves. Hurry up. Bring all the brothers. <laughs> Bring all the brothers. <laughs> you just sitting there, man. You like all scared. I'm just like. Hey, you hurry up. Yeah, you hurry up. And you just hear the sound. Did you hear that? <laughs> and so they all lay hands on you. Right? They all lay hands on you. And they're like, in the name of Jesus, spirit of fear, leave. <laughs> Is it gone? <laughs> yeah, I think it's gone. <laughs> <laughs>
in the car. Man, I'd like to get a raise. Man, can, God, could you change my wife? God, can you change? Like, yeah. the whole time, it's pepper. Pepper the whole time. So you out here, you worshiping God, and the word comes into you, and Pepper says, yeah, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that either. Oh, no, that, no, that ain't for me. Oh, you know what? I wish so-and-so was here, because that message was for them. No one for us. <laughs> That's real, real. <laughs> Hey, oh my God! Pay attention! Pay attention! That's for you. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. Oh my man, God! The, the, the irony, man. Oh, no. The irony. Hey, hey, you need to be raise here. Raise your hands. I don't need to raise my hand. The Lord knows my heart. <laughs> That's not how we worship. We worship like this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that guy has a devil. What's he doing in the church? What's wrong with him? I seen him at the club last night. He ain't really saved. Because if he was really saved, he wouldn't have been smoking cigarettes last night. Oh, oh look at that girl over there. Why is she wearing that small skirt? She put some clothes on. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, you need to comb your hair. Hey, you need to wear a tie. What the heck's wrong with you? You need to go shower, man. You stick. <laughs> Man, Pastor needs, he needs a mint. Oh, here we go. The same guy gets the same word every single time. Oh, 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 Guys, I ain't even joking, that's what happened. <laughs> right? Yeah. The whole time, you know, they had yeah. devils and demons, right? And then, you're leaving because, you know, church is over. You're like, woo, man, I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Highly favored. <laughs> Highly favored. <laughs> Highly favored. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I love you so much. Oh, don't touch me. Oh, don't touch me. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'll do anything, Jesus. I'll do anything. Ugh, don't touch me. Ugh. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Guys, hear me out. You're trying to get into worship, but there's something inside you says, just don't let that sister come up to me again. Oh, <laughs> just don't let that person come over here. Oh, my don't God. do that, please. Oh, here we go. That person never stops talking. No. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> and then what's awesome is you're leaving church because you're all up in the spirit. So you're like, man, I'm highly blessed. I'm highly favored. You know, you know the talk, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're driving, right? And people in front of you are all slow, and you're like, hurry the hell up! <laughs> <laughs> hurry up! Sweet Jesus. Oh, oh man, you Jesus. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, save him. Save Bless him. him. <laughs> right? And then, here's what's really crazy, because you're highly blessed, right? <laughs> and now you go home. And now you're acting the same alone. And now your kids don't know what's going on. They're like, you either saved, you're not saved, what's going on? Yeah. Now you're talking to your kids out of here. Now you're doing ministry out of here. Yeah, now you're doing everything out of here. Yeah. And then you go to find out that you've been doing everything carnally the whole time. And God's been trying to bless you and trying to give you things that you can work with. But because you're giving it to Pepper, you feel like you're going to circles. You feel like you ain't winning. You feel like you're just struggling over and over and over. So here's what's interesting. This is interesting about all that. <clears throat> when you understand the difference between who you are and who you're not, you get trained in the spirit all the time. Because look, when you're in Pepper and a problem comes, Pepper's going to try to solve it for you. But Pepper don't have the answers. Mm -hmm. Pepper gets carnal. And Holy Spirit doesn't want to train him. Holy Spirit sees him dead. Mm. So Holy Spirit's trying to teach you to walk out of circumstance. So now you're out on the street and someone talks trash to you and starts cussing, you get mad. And then when you realize what I'm telling you 
And Pepper starts saying, well, yeah, I just slapped that dude in the mouth. You're like, hold up. Oh, all right, Lord. Who are you for me right now? Because I'm so mm -hmm. angry right now. Mm -hmm. I need to be saved from this guy. I need to walk out my salvation right now. I don't want to listen to him. Yes. I don't want to punch him in the face. I'm going to love him. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, who are you for me right now? Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then you talk out of that place. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. be like, oh, this and this. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Right. Same thing, man. If you're married and your husband and your wife starts getting mad, getting angry, that's so it's good. their pepper attacking your pepper because they want to fight. And so when their pepper's like, man, you're disrespecting me. You're doing this and this to me and trying to get a rise out of you. And you're sitting there and you're about to get angry. You're like, okay. Pepper's like, say this, say this, say this, say this. Uh, cast down every imagination, every high thing that also gets not got me. Okay, so you're like, oh, okay, look, okay, shut up. Yeah. All right. Mm, okay. I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. I am love. I am peace. I am joy. He's like, no, you're not. You're not. You're an idiot. You don't have what you're doing. You don't have what it takes. You haven't prayed. You haven't fasted. You haven't read enough. You ain't done enough curriculum. You ain't been enough mission trips. You're worthless. You don't come on. You know who you are. Quit. You're lying. You're a hypocrite. God, and he'll say all that to you. And that's the, the wow. standard. Mm -hmm. You slip, don't listen to him. This is not true. Mm -hmm. God says on this, God says on this, God says on this. And you say, well, if you are, then how come this? And how come this? And how come this? And you're like, I don't listen to you, bro. You don't tell me what to do. I tell you what to do. And right now you need to be quiet. Right now you need to shut up. Right now you need to just know your place. Jesus. You're only going to serve the Lord your God. And only Him shall you serve, so shut up. Oh. See how that works? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you are the Son of God, make the stone turn into bread. And use the Word of God. Uh, yeah, I've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear Son. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm teaching. Thank you for joining us with Pete Cabrera Jr. administering the Word of God from inside the classroom at the School of Identity and Lifestyle. This video is recorded at the Royal Manor located in Hutchinson, Kansas. We believe the Holy Spirit is a comforter and the unction and anointing you have received of Him abides in you and you need not that any man teach you. 1 John 2.27 It is our purpose at the school to immerse you in Scripture and train you in the doctrine of Christ by understanding what you carry. We know how to recognize and support your spiritual growth so that once settled in your spirit, knowing who you are in Christ, you are fully able to demonstrate the power of the kingdom of God as part of your experience. Hearing the Father's voice, drawing from the Spirit, and manifesting the fruits of the Spirit are all part of the saint's inheritance as you learn to love, minister, heal, and set people free in Jesus' mighty name. Join Pete at his Monday night Bible study or register for the school by following the links in the description below. You can also partner with this ministry and join alumni around the world in Royal Family International's vision and earnest expectation to expand the kingdom of God as we continue training believers to manifest as the sons and daughters of God in Jesus' name.